This is Daniel Presedo, and I'm here to discuss 3D in Photoshop CS6. Here's another quick look at CS6 3D text. I have some text here. There have been a few comments and questions I, I've received through emails and forum posts. So I just wanted to run through this a little bit more slowly, uh -huh, if possible. And here we have 3D text. It was a one-click operation. And um, select 3D, 3D panel. And here is a text clearly delineated, Adobe text. And there are a lot of different operations that you can apply these. Uh, and some that you haven't seen yet, or very often, is that there's this bevel width control, which is really nice. I'm not seeing it quite as often as I'd like to see out there in the wild. And I'm going to take some of the lines down here. So you can see what's happening here. I've seen the I've changed the scene property parameters. I've added lines so you can actually see the edges here. And the nice thing about the, the width and even the strength of the, the inflation, which most apps don't even have, they just can't do it. Uh, you'll only find it in Photoshop and CS6, 5 and 6. And the other nice thing is the contours. The contour editor has kind of been orphaned for a while. I don't, I don't know how many people actually have been using it, but it's really fabulous tool now in the capable hands of any 3D designer or designer in general. And you can see all this stuff happening live on the canvas. You can get some crazy cool effects by whipping these things around. And I just wanted to make sure that people saw that. It is just an incredibly fun way to explore 3D. So let's see some amazing designs with Photoshop CS6 new 3D tools. No, really. Come on. Get out there. Start designing. 